Hello everybody, how are you doing and how is your day been? My name is StubbersYT and welcome back to The Sims 3 Not So Very Challenge. This is part 23 of our Rose Generation. So guys, I actually have a new desk and stuff. I've been uh, putting it together for like the past two hours almost. Uh, kind of kind of tragic really, but I actually finally have basically my original setup for my old house back and back in business, back doing good, doing well at things in life, and I'm honestly kind of proud of myself. My boyfriend did help me put the desk together, <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, he, he did help. Um, but currently, Rosalie is chatting with Arlene. I think she called us and is gonna ask if we want to chat. No, thank you. Um, so, little glitch in my game, guys. Rosalie's lifetime wish, heartbreaker, 10 out of 10. I got a notification yesterday saying she completed her lifetime wish. That's nice. She got all the points for it. It's not acting like it's completed, though, so I don't really know what to do about that. Um, but how about we text Bradley, who is our boyfriend, and we break up with him? <laughs> how about I break up with this man? Because um, I don't really have a reason to date him anymore. Because the one she has been after, like, this whole time, she dated him, they broke up, it was really tragic, really sad, truthfully, um, was Hanson. And the thing with Hanson is that it, dro it drops us back down to nine. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. What if I date another sim? Okay, right, 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 hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I call up a sim I have not dated, such as Ethan King Tanner. I invite him over. I date him. Maybe then my lifetime wish will finally gray itself out and be, um, normal. Because <laughs> I do want her and Hanson to get back together, but I want the lifetime wish thing to not be glitchy and weird, um, when I do that. So, that's... Yeah, you know your uncle? <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know she knew who her uncle was. Um, okay, weird. Also, Amber is still doing amazing in school. Grade A student. I mean... What more can I truthfully ask for? Ask Ethan about his career. We know people, but I think most of how we know them is because I have her call people and talk to them. I had her do it a lot to get her charisma skill up because um, to master the charisma skill, you've got to have like so many friends. So I would have her like call people, talk to them for like hours until they became friends. They wouldn't learn a single thing about each other. It would literally just boost stuff up. And then um, I would never speak to them like ever again. Um, it was kind of tragic. I'm not going to lie to you. It was kind of tragic, but it is how I did it. So am I a little bit ashamed of myself? A wee bit. Tiny bit. Yes. Um, so this is Ethan. He is a bit old. <laughs> I will not lie to you. He is a bit old. Um, he's a little bit of an old man. I'm going to go greet him and invite him inside because that's what you do with your guest. Guest is invite him inside. Um, all the newspapers are down because my cat can't seem to not do that. I don't know why she's like this, but we love you, Apple, nonetheless. Nonetheless, we still love little Miss Apple. Um, you're greeting him. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, she wants to kiss Ethan for the Guys, she's such a little heartbreaker. She is such a little heartbreaker. She is, oh my god, I love Rosalie, but at the same time, I'm like, do I? Rosalie's kind of like a bad person. I mean, she is like the vice president, though, and I don't trust any politicians. I don't care who you are. I don't trust you. You're in the political career track in real life or in The Sims. Mm -mm. Can't be trusted. Um, ask about his career. He's clearly a technophobe. I'm just going to say it because he does not like the, the thing. Ask his alma mater. And then hit him with that compliment appearance, compliment personality duo. That is my favorite thing to do. I, I literally is my go-to first things, which granted it makes sense as to why it's like everybody's first thing they do. Because it's like the easiest ones and the ones that are most likely to succeed. Uh, we also got robbed last night, guys. I would like to point that out. We did get robbed last night. Um, we got robbed. Yeah. It was a... Uh, he went to Brittle Brush Academy, and he's employed in the music industry. Oh, he's married. When has that ever stopped me before? 
When has that ever stopped Rosalie before? Okay, think about it like this. Go ahead, make a flirtatious joke. I understand he's an old man. I'm probably breaking up a marriage that is many a years long. Does he like it though? He likes the blowing a kiss. But I think that's just because like anytime she does that, they, they always swoon for her. It's like an immediate thing. But <laughs> this is just what? <laughs> Why? What? I'm about to say, why am I loading? You unlocked a long distance kisser achievement and earned a badge. Is that because I've kissed too many people? Has she kissed that many Sims? Um, wink at him, of course. I don't, I don't, I don't like that a lot. Um, flirt with him. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do in these situations. Give him some romantic red flowers, <laughs> of course. I mean, we're being very alluring. I think that says enough about Rosalie as a person. She just has this effect on men and women where they're just in love with her. I mean, it's, it's not even that complicated. It's literally just how she functions. Also, her go-to flowers, Romantic Red. Ask him to break up with Aubriana. I'm just saying it makes a lot of sense. And look, he's even going all in with the handholds. I'm just saying... This is this was literally just my like backup plan in case um this didn't work and I don't know why it doesn't work but it doesn't. <laughs> um and then go ahead and hit him with that good old fashioned heat of the moment kiss. Yes. Ask Ethan to be your boyfriend. You know. Oh my god, did he not do it? Oh, no. Yeah, he did do it. Never mind. He definitely did. Gave no, gave nothing to that. Was just like, yep, yep, we're done. We're done. I, I can already see it right now. We're just done. Uh, it Honestly, it kind of like, it's insane. It's, it's not this, it would not be this easy in real life to break up a marriage like that, okay? People got things to worry about, like, they kids, they house, they, they, everything that they've ever honed in their life could be, like, screwed over by getting a divorce. And in The Sims, they're just like, you're right. I've been waiting for this divorce Okay, and then propose going steady after you leap into his arms. I know he's an old man, and I don't need to be doing this because this is, like, kind of tragic. Um, because, I mean, listen, listen, I'm not saying, sh I'm not saying it's a good thing, right? <laughs> I'm not saying it's a good thing at all. But, it does, in the long run, help me out a lot for me to go ahead and do this. Um, because I want her to complete her thing, but it keeps being glitchy. See, it's still 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And yet, it's still not graying out. I don't understand. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I guess she does have all her things, so it's all I can really ask for. Um, stroke his cheek. And then, I guess we can go eat with him or something. We She's kind of hungry, and I don't really feel like cooking. Or, like, eating leftovers. Because my soups stay eating leftovers okay i always they always end up with way too much food go eat here with ethan i don't we don't really know this man or anything but like go eat here with him nonetheless and yeah i think i'm going to go ahead and skip to when she comes home like maybe tonight or when amber gets home maybe maybe we can finally get amber and rusty dating i'm just saying it's an idea i'm not saying it will happen because it probably won't just knowing my sims that's just how they are <laughs> they don't love me enough to listen but i think i'm just gonna skip back in a little bit so i'll see you guys in like just a second okay guys i am back uh amber actually had a recital so she went to that uh rosalie was too busy eating lunch and staying for dessert to go to her daughter's uh recital so that was kind of sad but she did get her little sports club participation trophy which is going to go precisely and I mean this in the best way, right here, between her other stuff. Ah, so cute. Okay, but now that they're home, now that she's home, we can actually invite Rusty over. He probably won't come, just because Rusty never comes over. Every time we ask him to, he doesn't. Also, this has been broken. I didn't even know this was broken. Um, I don't know how that slipped past me. 
that the TV has been broken for quite a while and I just didn't know. Oh, we all actually come over. Oh, that's, that's interesting. That never happens. Also, Rosalie wants to uh, be mean to Amber. Sometimes it's fun to hurt someone's feelings. Your sim wants to try out a mean social on someone. Um, <laughs> let me just say this. This is her daughter, but that does not mean that she's not going to go um, accuse her of being insane. She is insane, okay? She is insane. Uh, this is just how Rosalie is, okay? She's just mean like this. She's had to be nice to Sims her whole life to get this charisma skill up, and now she has finally mastered it, and she's like, you know what? Screw you, child. I know I gave birth to you when I was only a teenager, but screw you. Oh, a negative relationship with her. I just, I kind of want her to keep doing it, okay? Amber is going to be moving out in, like, the next couple of sim days. Um, mock her ambition. <laughs> and then accuse her of being a diva. She's not a diva, actually. She's, she's not a diva. She's, she is insane, okay? And she is ambitious. But she's not a diva by any means necessary, but Amber will actually be moving out probably, not next part, but probably the part after that. Because Rosalie needs to uh, finish. We only have one thing left to do with Rosalie. And that is to get her to the top of, what is this? And Ro She wants to put her kid in boarding school. Oh my god. Oh my god, Rosalie. Rosalie, I'm going to like shush you for now. I'm going to like send you upstairs. Um, you can use the toilet and, of course, have a revitalizing mud bath. Because y you need to calm down, sister. Your child is is not a punching bag, okay? Um, yeah, but within, like, next couple of parts, probably... We'll probably get to part 25 of Rose. And then, um, then part after that will be the beginning of, of Amber's series. Which I think will be really fun, because Amber will get a new makeover... And it'll be really fun. Sorry, I have the hiccups. It's, like, mildly infuriating. Rusty's here. Hi, Rusty. I have missed you. You never want to come over. Go give him a hug. Just immediately greet him with a hug. Just, I've missed you because you never... I forgot he's clumsy. <laughs> so he nearly fell on his face just now. That's so... It's so funny and yet so cute at the same time that I, I forgive it. I forgive it every time. And the handy woman is here to fix my TV, hopefully. You know, it would be really funny to me, right? So with, with electronics, if your sim repairs them, they have a tendency to... Aw, cute. These two, I love them. I love these two so much. I, I really, really, really want them to get together. Um, but it just doesn't seem to want to work with me. Give him friendly yellow. I know she's supposed to be being romantic and stuff. Oh, Rosalie has been breaking hearts all over town and has become the girlfriend of the chamber. Jim, she always remember inventing yet another excuse to break up with her significant other. Um, I already knew that. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Yes. Maybe she had to date him for a certain amount of time before it would um, be accurate. But we are going to break up with Ethan um, probably at the end of this part just so that we can get back together with Hansen. Because I do really like Hansen. Um, I want them to be together. <laughs> I want it. And it just doesn't ever seem to want to work with me. Give him... Hold his hands. Why is he, like, not being super romantic with us? Okay, I mean, I guess he's being cute and stuff with us. But he's not, like, being top of the line adorable like I know he can be. You better not go lie on that newspaper. Uh-uh-uh. Girl, get your little tail back in this house. Yeah, he just thinks we're being flirty. I don't want to be flirty. I want us to be... Like... Attra <laughs> Come on! There we go. There we go. There we freaking go. Oh my god. That I don't know why it was doing that. Embrace him. Because I do like Rusty, and I think it'd be cute. This is like her first ever friend. She just like invited him over at one point on accident. Wait, King Tanner. His his name is Rusty King Tanner, correct? Correct? Hold on. Is he related? King Tanner. King Tanner. Okay, I don't know if they'll show up on our family tree because, yeah, he does. 
Okay, Yuna Tanner, Tristan Tanner, Ethan Tanner, Raphael King Tanner. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. That was it. I was like, that last name is too much for it to not be related in there somehow. But it is. So the dude that Rosalie's currently dating is Rusty's uncle? Oh, those are all of Rusty's traits. He's got a baby brother named Jared. And a younger sister named Karen. Mm, she seems like a Karen. And they're rich. Wow, his mom's name is Melissa. We did not break this marriage up. <laughs> Let's just say that. We did not break up that marriage. I did not do that. I did not. I actually managed to stay clear of breaking up that marriage. Um, go ahead. Just, I, I really want them to be dating. I want it. I want it so badly. And I just can't ever seem to get it. So... We're going to keep trying. I'm going to get there, guys. I'm, I'm, they're, they will be dating. They will be dating by the end of tonight. They will be. I promise you that. Okay, we're not... Oh, there it is. 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 Ah! Uh, romantic. 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 Leap into his arms, first of all, because that is my like one of my favorite interactions of all time. And then propose going steady. Yes! Rosalie is feeling younger and more revitalized. Good for you, Rosalie. Good for freaking... Did it give me... It doubled it. It doubled it. Wait, I don't... I don't know what... I... I don't... I don't know what to do in this situation. Um... Uh... Uh... Yeah, uh, um... Um... Work from home. Sure. I guess I'll figure out what to, you guys want me to do with that, like, off camera or something. Look at them! So cute! So cute! Okay, 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 okay. Don't unzoom me. Don't unzoom me. Please date me. Please date me. Yes, you're dating me. Ah! How cute! Exclusive relationship with Rusty King Tanner. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. That makes me so happy. I've wanted them together for so long and it just wouldn't happen. So, I can't... <laughs> Okay, I don't think we're going to do all that. Okay, I don't think we're going to do all that. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Um, yeah, that, that's, that is a lot for some teenagers. There's actually a girl in my grade at my high school who got married at the beginning of the school year, which um, I'm not going to say it's too much, but her and this guy have literally been like dating since we were in elementary school. Like, they were dating quote unquote in elementary school and then they were still dating all through middle and high school and now they're married and she's a senior and she's about to graduate so like good on her honestly but i'm actually gonna skip back in the morning so i will see you guys in like just one second okay guys i am back it is the next morning so obviously last night amber did start dating rusty which i can appreciate i can love i can adore it even um, but I do think, <laughs> I got a notification saying that Hans, uh, that uh, Ethan King Tanner wasn't going to live for much longer, so now might be the time to call him. And I think before she ends up getting super sad and depressed because he's dead, uh, I should have her break up with him. Uh, <laughs> which, it sounds terrible, right? But I, I don't want to be dating an old man that's going to drop dead and then have my sim be sad. Um... Because she has a very important... Wait, what's tomorrow? One day until love day? No, it's not. Oh, I guess it is. One day until love day. Hmm. Didn't realize that one. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. But yeah, uh, we have one day until love day, which th they don't go to school or work or anything tomorrow anyways. Uh, we actually are almost at Amber's birthday. Amber's birthday will be Monday. Uh, which is really, really... I don't know. I don't... I think it's Monday. It says two days, so it'll say, it'll say one day, and then zero, oh, never mind. Her birthday is Sunday, so her birthday will be in the next part. <laughs> My bad. But I'm actually going to skip back when uh, these two, you didn't even eat your yogurt. No, eat, eat your yogurt. You can, uh, what, well, it's, what, well, what, well, okay, well, never freaking mind. Don't have any yogurt then, Miss Ma'am. I don't know why I even try. Oh yeah, she gets to ride the limo to work now. That's so much fun. But I'm going to actually skip back at the end of her work day. From working uh, from home, she's got a big boost and stuff already. But I kind of want to see if she manages to 
she probably won't get a promotion, but I want to see where she is to kind of, like, gauge, like, how much longer I'm going to be playing with Rosalie, because I can't stop with Rosalie until after I get her, uh, mastered in her career. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, she did not get a promotion, but I will say this, because she always works hard when she's there and because her, um, stuff is really, really high anyways, she's very, very close. She's very close. She actually has this uh, read political book thing to improve her job performance. So when she goes back to work on Monday, she is 100% getting the promotion. Um, however, for right now, <laughs> we didn't get that far. We didn't get that far. Not quite, not quite. But we, I did try. I, tried, I did try. I tried my best. Um, but I am going to have her stop reading for a moment because I do want to go ahead and break up with... Um, I want to I want to break up with them. I don't want to be with you anymore. Sorry, dude. You are literally just here for me to complete my lifetime wish, and that's kind of already done. So go eat that yogurt you left in there this morning, Amber, because you need it. Look at little Apple. Actually, my cat was in the room with me earlier when I first started recording, but uh, my cat, um, she's a little bit weird. She is getting spayed in next week or the week after, sometime around then. Uh, because she has finally gone into heat for the first time. Um, the vet, when I asked them about it previously, they said to wait until she goes into her first heat and then they could get her fixed up after that. I don't know why they made me wait because from what I've heard, you don't have to wait, but they made me wait. <laughs> so, and it's like the only vet in my area. Uh, there's two vets, but one of them's rough with small animals and only... He's technically like a large animal vet, like cows and horses and stuff, and like bigger dogs. So he doesn't do great with cats, so I didn't want him to do it. Uh, and then the other vet does like small animals, like hamsters and gerbils and cats and small dogs and big dogs. So more of your traditional vet, not really a farm vet. Um, and he told me to wait until she went into her first heat, which she's a late bloomer. She is, this is the first time she's gone into heat and she is eight months old. So for a while, we were very confused because we did not understand why she was not going into heat. Um, but it's, it's apparently, it's just how she is. Um, we actually were starting to question whether or not she was female. Um, she is a female. She's in heat, but I could not leave her in the room while I was recording because she was rubbing all over my legs and she was, um, doing the little humming, like, cat sound, the little... Not really the meow, but the... It's almost like a meow, but it's like humming. Uh, but yeah, she was... she was. I, I hated to put her out of the room, but she was being a little bit extra. And it was kind of necessary. So I did put her out of the room. And I'm doing everything I can to calm her down. Because I understand it's a very tragic time for little Miss Maggie. But you guys will actually get to meet her in a video. I was gonna have you meet her in a video this week. But, uh... She went into heat, so she was impossible to work with. But I think I'm going to end this part here, guys. As always, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. If you like my content as a whole, be sure to subscribe. I post new videos every single day. And if you have any suggestions for this series or any of my other series, you can leave them in the comments down below because I do check and read through all of them. But I love you all so very much, and I'll see all of you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye, guys.